I never noticed that before. She's the Joker and also <laughs> the Grim Reaper. Hmm, interesting. Chica, weirdly, is like the most intriguing <laughs> and dangerous character. It's like she's the devil disguised as an angel. She has the ability to rule people's hearts with the power of high frame rate dancing. <laughs> oh no! He just wants out. He wants out of this cycle. But his reputation is growing. A relationship veteran, indeed. Shirogani Miyuki wants to work. Yeah, just you may as well go with it. This is all on you. This reminds me of the episode of King of the Hill, where Bobby just gets in too deep. <laughs> just be honest, it's usually the answer to a lot of things. Oh, it's the same dude, again. Well, this is an open and a check case. <laughs> just, just do it. Oh, that's cute. Step one, hold hands with her. <laughs> that's, that's the whole thing. Oh, is that what it is? Some darker motive. I don't know, it seems genuine to me. Is this like bases, but with letters? Uh, it's very, very graphic, but simple depiction. I didn't know the cruiser was necessary, but it's nice. May as well do it right if you're gonna do it at all. Then you don't deserve to hold her hand. Get out. Cruiser is a prerequisite. Thought that was obvious. If you don't have the money to hire a cruiser, can you even call yourself a boyfriend? I'm talking about how easy it would be to hold his girlfriend's hand. The first couple times I tried to hold my girlfriend's hand, just out of bad luck, I guess, or maybe it was de defense on her part, I always happened to be on the side of her that was holding her phone. So the first time I held her hand, I was like holding her hand and her phone. <laughs> and it was super awkward. And then I took the phone out of her hand and just carried it. Not as smooth as hiring a cruiser, but perfection is the enemy of the good, as they say. That's true. You're saving money for the cruiser, that's why. Let's see what job. It says he wants to work. Oh my, oh my god, and he's getting a license. This is a really elaborate hand holding plan, respect. He's gonna go to A, B, and C in this mission. <laughs> Maybe D, if he hires a good cruiser. Ooh, that's legit. Feels like there's always one person's hands that are sweaty. I learned so much in the show. So many technical terms for things. Oh. Oh, this this just gets more and more elaborate. <laughs> this is amazing. The intensity. Set your office ablaze. No, but this is great. Okay, so he does he does work. Is that his angle this whole time? Filling a vacancy? Solid. It's actually great. You know, even if it's absurd. <laughs> that result is he'll be working, and it'll be to impress someone. He'll give her a really nice gesture. She makes Hagi wear the hat as well. I like their plan better, I'm not gonna lie. Go for it, go big. We had something good going, we were excited. Don't run in on our parade. <laughs> That'll happen even with the cruiser. Their plan is that plus cruiser. I'm very attached to the cruiser idea now. <laughs> yeah. Right, because just holding her hand is way harder than getting a job, working for 40 days, getting a boat license, getting a cruiser, and holding her hands. Oh, oh, oh! Bam! Nailed it. Right, trying to fill that vacancy. I don't know, what about odd? This girl again, right? We've seen her before. Oh yes, oh yes, let's do a club episode. Oh wait, this kind of club. I feel like this is the second time I've misinterpreted this on the channel. Why does my mind always go there? Kaguya wants him to join. I was just saying something like this in uh, the Spy X family reaction. School is largely a babysitting thing to keep teenagers off the streets, keep them busy so they can't overthrow society with chaotic violence. There's so much overlap between shows, speaking of Spy X family. Are we gonna compete for Stella's now? I heard you birthright. Well, I gotta read this. Where do I fit on the pyramid? I love how the second lowest layer is already really high. <laughs> wow, and there's two two links between government and large corporate executives and privilege. What is privileged? It's like the Illuminati? How elegant must they be? Academics? Clubs. 
体育会系の部活に所属しているというだけで。Even this average looking dude. 全員死なねえかな。Wow. しまった。石神会系の青春ヘイトが始まってしまった。Self-hating youth。部品も削れるところは削っていかねばならない。Right, they're the club that heads all clubs。サッカー部の予算を大幅に削るべきでしょう。I feel like it would be a hassle to cut the soccer club's budget because they would act very injured。あそこ彼女持ち多いんですよ。そんな理由？幸福こそ一番の課税対象。Oh right, this is against the rules. This dating thing。幸せ税です。いかなる暴君だってそこに税金かけてねえよ。完全に支援じゃねえか。Right。支援ですよ。At least he's honest. I don't know. I feel like some people would. I feel like there's a degree of this, not a happiness tax, but grudge-induced policy pressure. Like I feel like this comes up in discussions of how to allocate the resources of the affluent. You know, like some of that is based on just actual logistical questions of what would be the best way to govern society and comes from a good place. But I feel like if we're being really honest, that's not all it is. There's a lot of grudge-based thinking as well. You know, there's a thinking that if people have it better than me, then it undoubtedly came from some sort of evil. And maybe the thought doesn't even go that far. Maybe it's just just simple jealousy. You know, this idea that people have too much without taking an opinion on that one way or the other. I think it's pretty safe to say that not all of that discussion is motivated by pure, <laughs> magnanimous, kind-hearted thinking. There's a part of it, at least to some degree, that is something like envy. To speak way more generally and more safely, I just feel like it's a human thing to want and to feel like your desires are unmet and can't be met is painful. And there are really only a couple ways through that. One is to do really difficult work to get there, or reconceptualize it in a way where your priorities shift, or much more destructively, I think you try to rebalance the inner scales by. Taking the person who has what you want down, and because that's the easiest method in the sense that it doesn't require any sort of personal responsibility, it ends up being really pervasive. And so it's only natural that would manifest in matters of society and government, just because what is society and government but a collection of human beings? Looking back to when I was young, I think the things I hated the most were the things I was most threatened by. I remember really early on in high school, and maybe right before high school, I had this phase where I was really judgmental against drugs and alcohol. And it's so obvious now that there's nothing intrinsically wrong with the people who engage in those behaviors. It's just that I had insecurity. That those things triggered. I had connected those activities with people who were sort of in a place I wanted to be, and I wasn't included. And so, rather than sort of stomach that as like a 13-year-old or whatever, it's way easier just to hate them, and by extension, the behaviors that are associated with them. And that probably sounds really obvious to say out loud. I would wager a bet that just about every adult has at least one thing like that still, where they've made an association where they really hate something, but it's not actually about the thing; it's about things they want and feel they can't get. <laughs> Oh, I get it. If this is about high school and dating, man, this is gonna go deep. It's literally sparkling. Tanky. <laughs> Interesting translation. Yes, that's gonna be incredibly painful and unfathomable. You want this thing so badly, and other people seem to have them so effortlessly that they can even discard them. Fujiwara Shoki was a table game boy. Ah, I like that. I like that. It's cute. That is very on character somehow. Yeah, exactly. Precision. Focus. Oh, and lack of offensive capabilities. Oh, she's in the room, and you thought she was going to kill you before. He's really going all in. <laughs> he's committing to this、uh, physical description. Oh no! They just trickle in one by one. He stood there and watched her make it too. That's pretty horrifying. It's like your mom asking you to fetch the belt. We need you to handle elaborate companies' finances, clubs' finances. <laughs> This is becoming a routine shot. Him walking off in shame and sadness. We know how much he likes cola. Good moment for Miyuki. Yeah, exactly. Let it, let it go on for a few more moments. Clear, clear winner. Crushing defeat, victory. I want to be popular. This guy needs mob in his life. We all need mob in our lives. He could join the body improvement club. Speaking of mob, that I mean, that's a safe bet. I feel like all paths lead to exercise. Let's exercise more. Kuri wants to restrain herself. Oh, Pez. Princess of Frost, huh? Oh, I love this backstory. <laughs> It started early, right from the gate. Hmm, interesting. 
Yeah, stop seeing her as your enemy. I feel like this is a recipe for real heartbreak later. If she doesn't get a grip on what's important. Oh, Pez. <laughs> they have to okay, they have to make him in that shape, huh? Pure made no shipayo gakshuste, Kagewa, Sechishko Minitske Hajimeta. Danga. Is this the song Blue Monday? <laughs> I'm out of my depths here. I can't even comment. She's already doing it for me. <laughs> Damn, this is dramatic. Got her. Is this what you wanted, Chika? Chika wants her to laugh her butt off. <laughs> oh no. You got me too. You just gave her a lot of ammunition. There's that devil spark. World again. <laughs> They're not saying the same thing as a subtitle, so hats off to whoever found the equivalents in English. I guess having many names for dicks just crosses, transcends all boundaries, all borders. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? You're running away from this? In a moment like this? Now? You're gonna leave? Alright. <laughs> no. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh my god, this goes on and on. Died of blood loss. What? <laughs> Alright. That was a lot of dicks. I'm somewhat stunned, to be honest. Why did this episode make me feel bashful? I think the most compelling thing to come out of this episode for me, aside from Kaguya and Shika's interest in Chin Chin, is the treasurer and his reflections. Because he's sort of in this really deep and kind of dark, but understandable place, I feel like he could have a very interesting journey. Like I said, I feel like this is an articulated version of something that I think is way more common than might seem initially obvious. This is a really big motivation. I mean, even when it's not the sole leading driver of, of any one particular leaning, I I think it's pretty commonly in there somewhere, you know, like having a really strong and emotional reaction to something is probably a sign that there's something unresolved personally, which doesn't mean that there isn't something bad about the thing in question or something harmful about the thing in question. Doesn't mean there aren't sound arguments against a certain thing or for a certain thing or whatever. It has, it has no say in the logic of the argument. It's just that I feel that humans are sort of wired to have emotional components to things or else why care, you know? I think it's possible to look at things that are are objectively terrible across certain metrics, certain scales, and not really be worked up about them just because there's no threat. There's no internal or emotional threat. It's just like, yeah, this is the way it is and it's, it's not ideal. If there's that thing, you know, that pull, that resentment or anger or desire for revenge or hoping to take some kind of action that harms someone else or some group or whatever, it means there's a fear in there or something of that nature. And if it's not connected to some kind of physical threat or life threat, then it's likely tied to some kind of insecurity or unresolved thought or unmet desire that creates anxiety or that kind of thing. So I feel like a really interesting path for him would be for him to do these things he's afraid of and conquer what is perhaps a, f a fear of exposing himself to romance because what will inevitably happen is he's going to get wrecked, like absolutely wrecked because he's not there yet. He doesn't understand. He doesn't have the things he needs to have to do what he wants to do. And on some level, he knows that, hence the extreme anxiety and fear and depression. And I guess in this case, resentment. But wouldn't that be a satisfying thing to watch him struggle with? I think it feels great and is inspiring when people redirect that energy Energy inward and realize that it's something they actually want and then use that energy to get what they want or take progress towards it in a way where they're meeting their own expectations and feel satisfied to the point where they can let go of whatever is the, the negative emotion driving them. So he's definitely a character to keep in mind.